Hi all, in this video I will guide you through how to solve practice 2 and I hope that um, you try first before you uh, watch my video okay? because it's, it's not good for always spoon feeding, you will learn nothing you should think first, then find the solutions not find the solutions, then what, what are you going to think? you won't learn, you will not learn okay back to the questions, write a program for an automatic um, tiler machine that dispenses money and then the user should enter the amount desired with a multiple of ten dollars and then the machine dispenses this amount using the least number of bills so basically it is referring to um, like ATM machine okay that can dispense 100, 50, 20 and 10 only with these functions again don't look at the function first look at the output first so back to here copy paste everything and go to your code paste it okay so what you do now is um, create the for loops Oh, sorry, create the um, C out. We found that if we make a mistake, it will display um, invalid input. Yes, if the amount enter cannot be divided by 10, then it will show invalid input. And then please uh, enter the multi this message and then it will request for the input again. Okay, until we have the right input. Then it will calculate and give you the output. So I'm going to undo this. I'm going to explain. Eh? Uh, I, I assume that you already know how to create a C out, how to C in, and then how to create the um, while, loop, while loops. All right. So I will fast forward everything. So based on the sample run, I have created this code. Let us compile and run. Just want to make sure everything is okay. Um, enter withdraw amount one, invalid input five, one hundred. Okay. Let us compare to the screen output. ABC Bank automatic teller ATM correct. Enter valid amount one, invalid input. Please enter multiple ten. Please enter multiple. Okay. So I don't have any answer yet uh, because I still haven't still haven't caught how to separate this. So we have the amount as the input and we want to separate it. So what should we do is um, we are going to find uh, the remainder as well and then we're going to compare it. So I create a remainder.
Okay, the question request for four variables. Wait, the question request for these variables. So I'm not going. I'm going to use these variables yet, where we have to define it. But it is not a pointer. The pointer is in the function. We are going to define it as variable in our main program. Okay, now I have um, th, which is referred to 10, 50, 20, and 10. This is 100. Okay, this is 100. So 100, 50, 20, and 10. So we have to remember these um, variables because this will be used here as well as our output th. And ten. Fifty is FT. Okay, FT. Alright, so now my output is here, refer to here with the variables that I have declared. And now I'm going to find the remainder and then to see out them. Okay, I want to know how many piece of hundreds bills I have. So I divide by hundreds. Uh, two, if, if my amount is 300, then 300 divided by 100, I will get three. Okay, assumption. So this is how we find the hundred bill nodes. Hundred bills or nodes. But after that, we have to find the remainder. So the remainder... We have to find the remainder, we have to use the modulus. Modulus by 100, then the remainder will be stored in this variable. So let's say if my remainder, my amount is um, 180. So 180 stored here, divide by 100, you will get 1. So 100 bill is 1 piece. And then the 80, 80 which is here. Um, 180 modulus by 100, you will get 80. So this will store 80. The remainder right and i'm going to repeat this for 50 for 20 and for 10. so this is 50 this is 20 this is 10. okay but for 10 10 bills i don't have to find um, the remainders anymore Okay, so FT. All right. So with the logic, I think it works. Let us compile and run. Um, if it is one, it will not accept. Five, it will not accept. We try with one one nine zero. Ah, okay. So we have one hundred bills. One. 50 bills is 1 and then 20 bills is 2. Okay, correct. I tried again with 180. Okay, so 1, 1, 1. Correct. Okay, so the whole program is now correct. Alright, but back to the question. It requests for instruction. Void and void. Back to the code. I put it here. Oops. Okay, instruct void and void. We don't pass any value, we don't pass any pointer, array, whatever. So I assume that it is referring to either this one or this one. Okay, as long as it is not related to um, amount to all of these variables, then it is just fine. Okay, I assume that this one, so I cut it, put it here under the instruct function. And then I copy and paste it here. So now in the main program, um, 
the instructions for invalid input is under here. Let us try um, to make sure that there is no any bugs before we continue for the second function. So we try with one, five, nine, um, six. Okay, it works. How about uh, if the amount is valid? Okay, it works. It works just fine. So now go back to the question. It requests for this. Okay, copy and paste it here. Put the clear bracket. All right, we have to pass an amount. We will pass four values, four variables, which is 10, 50, 20, and 100, 50, 20, and 10, which means that this one actually is referring to this part. Okay, so I copy and paste. I cut and paste. Cut it, paste it here. Right. So you will find that actually it does not work anymore because um, this shows an error. It shows the integer cannot be assigned to an entry of integer pointer. So very simple, you just change everything to pointer because it says it's invalid. Okay, I change the pointer. And now no more invalid. All red, red, web, red, right, red error or whatever have been removed. So what should we do next is this part, copy it, put it back in our main program. Okay, and then correct the info. So we found that we cannot put a data type inside uh, a functions here because we're going to pass it, right? In, and it already be declared. So we just remove it, okay? Remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. But still, after you remove, you will found that this one is highlighted with an error. Okay, back to your slides. Okay, um, in the video I have mentioned before, these are variables. These are variables. When we want to pass it to a function, we have to pass the address so that in the functions, we can update the value. So we're referring to n%. Percent. So you have to imagine these, these four variables are in my main functions. If I want to use it in um, a sub function, I can pass it, right? I can pass it without all of these n%. Percent. But if you are doing so, if you are doing so, it will create an issue because in our sub functions, we are going to update the value of the pointer. Okay, so in order to do that, we must have the n percent follow with it. And now logically it works. Um, try to compile and run. Okay, um, two, eight, it is not valid. So now I try the valid one, two, eight, zero. So I can get 2111. Okay, 2111. So this is how we solve um, practice two. Okay, let's go for practice three. Uh, practice three, please try yourself. It's almost similar. You're talking about hospital supply companies, and then please refer to the uh, sample run, solve the problem first, then break it down based on the functions. Okay, each of the function we have its own roles and try. Alright, so thank you for watching this video.